One of the most challenging things for many people is to get a conversation started, especially with strangers. And while we can certainly become better friends with people that we already know, and we're going to talk about that a little bit later, a big part of making new friends and building new social circles is meeting strangers. We simply need a fresh supply of people if we want to succeed with this. As a communication coach, I am constantly bombarded with questions about what to do to meet strangers. What should I say? How should I say it? When should I say it? To whom should I say it? And so on. And I have a frustratingly simple answer. Say whatever, however, whenever, to whoever, just say something, at least to start out with. You see, the easiest way to both get comfortable talking to strangers and to increase the likelihood that strangers will talk to us is to do what we call warm-ups. A warm-up is any engagement with a stranger of any sort. It's usually very short, only a few seconds long, and doesn't put much pressure on performing. It can be something as simple as a hi, or an excuse me, or good afternoon when passing someone in the street or at the market, or a wave, a smile, a nod, literally anything where you do something to catch the attention of someone else and show them that you exist. For some people, this seems almost too easy. And if you're one of the people who already do this naturally every day, basically no matter where you are, that's great. But whether or not you are, please pay attention to this tactic because there's a difference between the people who are okay with exchanging these pleasantries when necessary in their daily life and the way the likables use this. While the likables will still do these things randomly as they go through their day, they pay extra attention to doing it when they know that they are going to be in situations where they might want to have an actual conversation with someone that they don't know. You see, a couple of things happen when we do these warm-ups. The first thing is that we get into the groove of speaking out loud, which will make it a lot easier to engage with a stranger than if we've just been in our head thinking to ourselves for the last hour or two. The second thing is that we build our social confidence when we see that Basically, everyone out there are nice, pleasant people who will tend to respond to you with the same tone that you engage them with. When these two effects combine forces, and we do a dozen or two warm-ups on our way to wherever we might meet and talk to strangers, our subconscious relaxes a little and becomes more socially confident, in, if only for a little bit. By the time you get to where you're meeting people, you've already interacted with so many on the way there that it will seem like a far less uncomfortable task to follow up the next warm-up with a question that might lead to a full-on conversation. A likable rarely goes to a social event without warming up before getting there, no matter how confident or outgoing they usually are. It's so second nature to most likables by this point that most of them don't even think about the fact that they're doing it as they walk down the street or go to the store. And those of us who aren't that outgoing by nature, well, we can copy that same behavior and get the same effect. So here's your exercise. Spend the next week or however long you need for this to become easy for you, warming up. Whenever you leave your house and you're among people you don't know, exchange little pleasantries, give them smiles and nods, and whenever you feel like it, ask them a question or give them a compliment. The more comfortable you become with this, the higher your social confidence will be. And as an extra bonus, you'll soon discover that more and more strangers will keep talking to you when you do a warm-up with them simply because they want to and you just open the door for them to do so.